the swing away from coming. It was leg stump all the way and then straightening. And it was that late movement that suggests that maybe it was going on to hit middle and leg. No doubt for Shep. As umpire, speed of Sholbach uh, this time last year. This very ground. Wow, that's got to be pacey as well. 158. Now, uh, David Shepard might have got it wrong, as you indicated, admitting middle and leg. But I think, you know, the, the wicket keeper here is what has kind of perhaps put uh, David Shepard into two minds. Look how much Gilchrist goes down the onside, and it does swing. The batsmen are going to be going hard, and the wild thing is in. Second ball into the pads of Imran Farat. Almost 160. That is unbelievable slats. That's express. 159 clicks. That's Jeff Thompson. That's Shoah Bakhtar. That's as fast as you see the ball. And it's a wicket, and it's Andy Roberts' fifth wicket of the innings, rounding off a one. Uh, but coming in a little bit of strike, he's playing late, as you'd expect, from this sort of pace, and that's flying through. And that's 160. That is serious pace out here in McLean Park. He's, he's really fired up, Brett Lee. He understands that if he can get these early wickets, then New Zealand are no chance in this run chase. Michael, that's uh, the first time 160 has been recorded in this country. 160 k's, that is 100 miles an hour. Not much doubt about that. I had a very quick look at uh, Rudy Kutzen to make certain he hadn't put his arm out for no ball. But that was effectively demolishing the timbers. Brad Hogg the first into the huddle. Look at this, full, straight, and 160 k's, 160.1 at a paru departs. Brett Lee delighted, so too. George Brad Hogg. Hard to beat Bickle in there. All of a sudden it was through him. So many things go through a batsman's mind. Got to get onto that ball and just respond to what's coming at you. If you get one too many. Not into Bacchus. And that's another vicious fast ball and the umpire there looks long and hard. It's a beautiful delivery. Yes, the umpire is looking very closely at that, uh, considering whether it should be a wide. Remember that as soon as that ball rises above shoulder height, it is automatically a wide. That's as fast as you see the ball ball. Ball three. Oh. Play a miss. The eyes go straight up to the screen. And the crowd love it. It's 100 miles an hour. A, a cricket ball does not get bowled faster than that. No idea where it's about to go. That ball was 99.854 miles an hour in the old money. But hey, who's quibbling? Let's just call it a... 160 k's, that is 100 miles an hour. One six one. it is getting faster. Can you believe it? Now the world record is 161.8. Well, I think the crowd have just realized that there's something special going on out there from Brett Lee. It, come up on the replay replay screen I'm glad we're sitting up here and not out there facing it that's serious serious pace and the other factor is he's getting this way swing going it's almost impossible to a hundred miles an hour Fifth delivery, first over, clocked in 100.1 miles per hour. You don't get that a lot, look at that, 97, 97, 96, 96, 97, and then the big 100.
Scotland, Pakistan's Shoaib Akhtar broke two records in one day. Very quick from Shoaib Akhtar. 100.2 miles an hour. Brilliant stuff. Well, that has brought a lot of cheer from the crowds because uh, Shoaib Akhtar has just broken that barrier. That's out. That's caught. The back will point. Very quick from Shoaib Akhtar. Very quick from Shoaib Akhtar. It was a different action. Uh, that you had for this particular delivery that you bowled? Because when I take my arm back uh, back there and I get again more, more, more power, it's a different action and I just bowled.